Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Geek Since Night 2. Giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational posts by me. The Queen's back at again. So I have been anticipating Lauren. Y'all, you know, I'm gonna mess up this girl's last name. I promise I'm gonna learn how to pronounce her last name. You already know who she is. She doesn't need an introduction. Lauren's new single. 50 feet. I just got finished listening to it and I'm gonna tell you something right now. She is really bringing heat and I love this record. Um, the production has more of like that R&B soul, that feeling, that vibe and she's also staying true to herself, to her um, artistry where she is putting her um, Spanglish, she's singing in Spanish um, and you know her roots um, as well and what I love about Lauren's like her vocals are very raspy her tone she has like a very jazzy like tone in her vocals they remind me of like how Amy Winehouse um, and who else Nora Jones and who other I, mean, I would say Sade as well but Lauren pretty much she brings in her own like style and what I love about this record, it's more like that, it's kind of like she's talking about like she needs her space, but at the same time, you know, she's not afraid of love, but it's kind of like she has to protect herself because, I don't know, maybe she had, you know, experienced, you know, bad love and, or it'd be like up and down, but it's kind of like, interpreting the lyrics, it's kind of like 50 feet, you know, she's saying like she needs more than 50 feet. She needs time to herself. She has to protect herself and her sanity. But at the same time, like I said, she's just bidding and she's just releasing, you know, her thoughts and being, um, you know, she's pretty much like expressing herself. But at the same time, I love how like the song is really melodic. It's very mellow. And it does have like more like that Caribbean island feel a little bit. It has a lot of, like that R&B soul and just like that vibe of like the, um, you know, that kind of like R&B 90s feeling of the songs. But at the same time, she does bring more of like that uniqueness of like the authenticity and um, is very um, vulnerable. And she's putting a lot of like that emotions in her music, but at the same time, she's being concise and she sticks, she's sticking to the point. And Lauren, you know, she is pretty much growing on me as an artist. Um, she has like pretty much a, you know, versatile, like, you know, it's more like her music's very, it just has a lot of like combinations and mixtures of sounds and elements. And listening to her music more, it's like now I have an idea who she is as an artist which is great because I love researching other artists and you know the more I listen to like other artists music the more I get a better perception of who they are as artists but she basically is like slaying right now she's putting out good music she is staying consistent this sound works well with her and she's also like I said adding her you know roots her heritage into her music as well um, and I feel like Lauren, she's going to be another breakout star from Fifth Harmony. And listen, all Fifth Harmony members, they can and they will be able to succeed and have successful music careers. And here's the thing. Looking back at like all of like the Fifth Harmony members and seeing how, like I said, their music careers have started off in the girl group. It's really great to see like each of their individuality and their artistry and Lauren. She also stands out with her music as well. So I should definitely check out more of her music in the future. And I should definitely just check out, like I said, you know, she just brings a lot of that, like, variety of, like, charisma, you know, flavor, excitement. And she brings, like, soul music. And just being able to really bring something new and unique and different to the table with her music. I also love the fact that, you know, she's being herself and you know she has found a lane that works well for her as an artist and she has been experimenting which is great um, and also like I said I want to hear more music from her in the future because I think that she definitely can like cross over more like that contemporary R&B soul and even like 
the Latin music as well because she is a Latina as well so she basically like I said she has the best of both worlds and she's basically like I say you know building up the momentum and staying consistent with her music and with that being said I think that you know she just brings something very edgy and appealing and her music speaks for itself so definitely Lauren she has been doing her thing I promise I have to know how to pronounce her last name but with that being said I feel like this song 50 feet is really really cool I love it it's pretty much like I said more of like that you know sound and the music that just takes you there so with that being said she did a great job um so I support her so please um Lauren fans um like I said any Lauren fans like I said get me how to like write down how to pronounce her last name because I like to you know pronounce people's names correctly um so with all due respect so with that being said please not be afraid to share your thoughts and your opinions please not be afraid to like share comment subscribe down below please not be afraid to hit that subscribe button please not be afraid to hit that notification button as always stay tuned to the next episode give us this night too dragon balls and mary reference peace bye bye you girls as an out the soup stands out